I think this might be my last commission. I think it might be my last. There's an eight foot foam board for $99 at Costco called Wavestorm. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. It's already just after two o'clock in the afternoon. So if I don't get down to Costco and get this thing, I'm gonna be dealing with insanity. So I wanna get it right now, get it handled. Starting route to Costco wholesale. Okay, here we go. Turn left onto Willow Street. Okay, definitely crowded. That's gonna be me. Kind of vibing with this blue-green deal here as opposed to like sort of the rainbow. So this thing's eight feet long. I'm just hoping it's gonna fit in my car. I guess I should have measured first. It's gonna be close. I think we're gonna make it. The reason I wanna get a board that'll fit in the car is because it's like, there's often times where I thought it'd be really nice to kind of get in the water after I've been painting, just to kind of wind down. So, you know, and oftentimes I leave my car quite a ways from where I'm painting, so I want to be able to have it locked up instead of on racks. So that's kind of the idea there. I was just thinking about a book that I read called um, The Moon and Sixpence. It's kind of based on uh, the life of Paul Gauguin. It's written by William Somerset Maugham. Definitely check it out. But there's a quote from that book that I thought was really interesting, which is, and I don't even remember who said it, but said, the greatest work of art is a life well lived. This stuff kind of scares me because I think it's really hot. This is actually hot, but bearable. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Okay, that was so good, but my nose is running and my lips are on fire. Okay, so now to a surf shop to find some wax for my board. All right, so fun art fact about San Mateo. Um, Edward Hopper came out here to California in like the 1940s, late 40s or early 50s. And apparently he did one plein air painting in California and it was in this town, San Mateo. Um, I tried to find the house that he painted, but I wasn't able to. Okay, so apparently they moved to Bay Wind Park. I have no idea where that is. Um, I'll just pick up wax when I go over to the coast. Uh, so I'm just gonna go home and unpack this board, put the fins on, unpack the leash and check it out. Let's open this thing up, take a look. Just gotta be careful not to cut through it. I'm liking this color, actually. Pretty cool. I can't believe that they can make a surfboard like this for a hundred dollars. It's crazy. It comes with the fins and also a leash. Not easy to get into. Right. 
nice little grip here for your back foot. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Uh, tomorrow's 4th of July, so it's bound to be crazy. So I'm thinking of getting out super early in the morning uh, before the crowds show up at the beaches. It's been kind of foggy and stuff, so who knows, maybe it won't get that crowded, but I just feel glad to have the board. It's all set up and ready to go. I'm glad that it fits in my car, and I'm looking forward to getting out in the ocean and giving it a try. This is gonna be twice as buoyant as the other board that I used. Um, so, yeah, if I can't get up on this thing, then there's no hope for me. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video.